back here, and this is Ace Gentile, and we're with the player of the game from the first round of the uh, 2010 CBA, actually quarterfinal CBA tournament, Cody Stumbo. Uh, he broke the record for scoring points, breaking Daniel Lopez's record of 42. He had 43 tonight. So Stumbo, just kind of walk us through the game. Like, how'd you get into this this great rhythm where you're able to get 43 tonight? Well, you know, uh, my teammates did a really good job finding the ball. I drove to the basket, got the free throw line, made my free throws. You know, just making shots. All right. Was there any? Uh, Key to your success was like, was there just like something that you just like, you like hit a few shots you knew it was going to be a good night, or like how did it go down? Well, I mean, I uh, came in before the game, I like 45 minutes before, started shooting, and I was making most of my shots, and I was like, taste something good. Yeah, any questions? Um, how you feel she, like you went 13 or 12 or 13 from the free throw line, you just were on the day, or is you just feeling good, or you, you know, I like practice my free throw shots almost every day, just finding a rhythm and. Should have made that last one, but just today was just your day for free throws and everything. And pretty much it. What about Jeff Latoon's record breaking 29 rebounds? Like, you know, that, that, that was weak. I could have <laughs> beat it easily, but I didn't get as much playing time. It's because they took you out, isn't it? Yeah, and they just let, let him in. They just The team let him get the boards, and there's nothing I can do about that. So next game, you go for 30 boards. Uh, maybe. Sure, why not? Do you have any final words to, to the audience before we sign off? Either of you. Hola, como estas? <laughs> and don't forget, the semifinal game next Monday. We'll have a complete wrap up tomorrow on CBA, YouTube, Facebook, Sports. Harry Swack, Cody Stumbo, H. Gentile, signing off. Hello, CBA fans, and welcome to another edition of CBA Today. Harry Swack, and this is Ace Gentile. Ace Gentile. Gentile. And uh, we're going to kind of discuss the final game of last night's first round quarterfinals um, between Crossland, Cavaliers, and Woodburn Wombats. And for those of you that missed it, and you missed it too, you missed the game. It was a great game. It was uh, a lot of just competitive back and forth, going back together. It's not the 106. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a blast. Uh, yeah. Uh, Will Brewer paced Woodburn with 25 points and 11 rebounds. And uh, Nick Cobb had, I believe, 15 points as well. So he chipped in there. Tingle had a lot of rebounds. So uh, we just want to tell you about the game. And then it was, it was pretty exciting. Uh, Adam Bradley had 19 and 21 or something. He was, in, he was in place of uh, Iverson. Iverson was, was out with strep throat. But, um, I guess I'll just go to play the game just, before, just to kind of hear about it. It was tied at 59, and there was uh, 30 seconds left, and Tommy Boyce, the playmaker, had the ball in his hands, top of the key, and uh, they, they, iso they ISOed him out, got the defense spread. And Adam Bradley set a screen, and then he, and then uh, Boyce cut to the basket. The hedge didn't come quick enough, and Boyce floated a little jumper over Will Brewer with 10 seconds left. Wombats came down, missed a three, missed a tip in, and their season's over. And so, you know, that's you know it's two close losses by the Wombats in the playoffs. Last year they lost to the Eagles by two. Yeah. Uh, Spencer Austin went a game winner. This year I have a Tommy Boyce. So, uh, Next year, they'll probably, if they keep moving, well, they're losing a lot of people. But yeah. they'll, they'll still have Brew and Tingle. Yeah, they'll still have their main And players. Landry. And Cobb. Be, and Cobb. So, so I mean, next year. So, so Woodburn, if, you, if next, you're out there, you have, a great, you have a great future. You have a lot of good players coming back. So, uh, do you have anything to close out until our next segment? Anything? Should we talk about the other game of last night? I guess the, we could. Yeah. The uh, First Baptist Richmond game. First Baptist Richmond game. Uh, it was a pretty good game. A lot of fan support. Almost a sellout crowd out, out there at the Rock. Richmond always comes out with yeah. good fans. And, and, and we'll have some videos of that too, some pictures from that game. But uh, <clears throat> basically, First Baptist was just too much from the outside. They hit 13 three pointers. Nancy Burks hit six. Nancy Burks hit six threes. The bean. Yeah, that was a pretty good game for him. And just there's too much, too much of them. I think uh, Caitlin Edwards and uh, Riley, Miller. Riley Miller and Kirk Carson played pretty well for Richmond. But other than that, it was all First Baptist. They were hitting threes. And so tonight we got First Baptist and Eastwood Eagles at 7:15. Eastwood Ballers and Greenwood Park at six. So anything else to wrap up for our next segment? All right. Coming out for another exciting night. Perry Swack, Ace Gentile.